Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q, and welcome to my living room. This is a gallery wall that I did. Super simple, all you need is one measurement. I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you want the long, drawn out explanation, just click on the video in your top right hand corner. That goes into a lot more detail on how to do this. Let's get started. All right, let's start with grabbing one of these frames and measuring this frame. All nine of my frames are the same, whether it's nine, 12, 30, you can go crazy with gallery walls. It's, it really helps if they are the same size. They don't have to be, I'll talk about that later, but let's measure this. We know that it's now 20.5 on each one of these sides. Again, does not have to be a square on all of these. As long as your frames are the same, that's where I would use this method. So you take 20.5 and then you add the gap that you want between each one of your frames. This is a very large wall. I did a two inch gap. If you got a smaller wall, go down to about one inch. So let's take my two inch gap, take 20.5, add two, you have 22.5. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with that number next. Okay, now that I've got that 22 and a half inches. All right, whenever I hang anything, I don't like to use the hook on the end of this when I'm measuring, okay? There's a little give there, as you well know. So I start at like the two inch mark um, where there's a line and I go out 22 and a half inches from that. It's just nice to have a solid line to line it up with instead of maybe a little bit of give in this hook. That's just something I do. I've got my point here, my center point right here. I wanna put a picture over here, over there, up, down. You got it, right? So I line this up with the two inch mark on that point, and then I go 22 and a half inches away, and I make another mark right here, okay? I don't know where level is, so I draw kind of a vertical line here. I then grab my four foot level. Two foot works, but oof, this would be painful with two feet. Um, it's not as accurate, and I take where my point is over here, and I just level this, and I score it across. So I've got a horizontal and a vertical line where those two meet, that's your 22 and a half inches away from your center point, all right? And I do that going up, down, left, and right, all right? So I've got five pictures, I've got nine total. So from here, now that I've made that mark, I go down, again, I'm starting with two, I go down 24 and a half to, the bottom right picture, okay? And then, you know, I can level, I use my level to go, I use my level to level vertically and also level horizontally, okay? So that one dimension, you can set this whole thing up. There's a lot of double and triple checking, but it's pretty easy. All right, as far as how to hang them, I used a simple drywall screw. There's a little angle involved in that. I would use this product from 3M. It's a one size fits all. You don't even need tools. Links to this and everything I used in this video are down in the description. All right, now it's time to put the frames up once you've got those nails or hooks in and then adjust, 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 and it'll come out looking great. All right, and once you are done, should look nice and level. All right, you guys, that, that about does it. Tape measure, level, definitely have one of these. Easy gallery wall setup. If you want a lot more detail on this, I've got a longer video that really walks you through in the top right hand corner. Check that out. Check out my other videos. That's it for this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.